Hello everyone, you already know who it is, but for those of you that don't, I'm Dead Pylons. With the Season of the Chosen coming out tomorrow, and with rocket launchers getting a 30% damage increase, I'm here to show off the rocket launchers you should definitely get your hands on. Let's go. First up, Shining Sphere. Now this thing may not look like much, but in the right hands and with the right perks, this thing can become a DPS monster. You can farm this rocket launcher from Lord Saladin's Iron Ingrams during Iron Banner, and there are many perks to choose from. My personal recommendation is just to farm for a roll with Volatile Launch, Impact Casing, Auto Loading Holster, and Demolitionist. But if you don't have those rolls, it's okay. As long as you have something that picks up Blast Radius or Impact while also getting you in there to fire more rockets, it'll work just as fine. Next up, the Hooskow. Now honestly, I'm not a fan of adaptive frame rocket launchers, but if I had to choose one, I'd honestly pick this one. You can get this as a drop at the end of the Prophecy Dungeon. There are many perks to choose from. My personal recommendation is to farm for a roll with Hard Launch, Impact Casing, Auto Loading Holster, and Demolitionist. Now just like the Shining Sphere, if you don't have these perks, it's okay. As again, if, as long as you have something that picks up the Blast Radius and Impacts and also allows you to shoot more rockets, it'll work just as fine. Next up, the Bad Omens. This rocket launcher is actually my most favorite rocket launcher at the moment and I actually use this thing in a very weird build I use during raids. You can farm this gun from the legendary Ingrams from Master Raul or just get lucky and get it as a world drop and there are many perks to choose from. My personal recommendation is to farm for a roll with Voltire Launch, Black Powder, Auto Loading Holster, and Cluster Bombs. Now again if you don't have that roll it's okay. You can actually put in the work and reset Gambit three times which I understand if that sounds a bit Eh, but it gives you the curated version of the Bad Omens. And this version comes with Vault Tower Launch, Impact Casing, Tracking Module, and Cluster Bombs. And since it's an aggressive frame, which means high damage, already built into the thing, having Impact Casing along with it will mean even more damage. But again, you have to reset at least three times in Gambit to get it. And again, I understand if that's not something people want to do. Next up! Deathbringer. This rocket launcher has always had some weird special place in my heart. It's not my favorite, but I actually don't hate it because of how much damage potential it has, thanks to its exotic perk, Dark Descent. And all it means is that the further the Void Orbs fall, the more damage they're going to do. In order to get the exotic quest for Deathbringer, you'll need to own Shadow Keep and complete the campaign, along with all the quests for Eris Morn. Once you've done that, Eris will give you one last quest called the Memory of Sai Mota. The quest is pretty straightforward, and at the end of that quest, you'll get your Deathbringer. And with exotics getting their own special tweaks, this thing, I do believe, has enough potential to actually destroy the other rocket launchers in the competition. Save one. Last, but certainly not least, the Eyes of Tomorrow. Using Eyes of Tomorrow has been the most fun I've had in a very long time. This thing shoots six full tracking rockets at a time, and the tracking is very reminiscent of how it was in Destiny 1. You have a chance of getting this in the final encounter of the Deepstone Crypt, but that chance is very low. And with one of its exotic perks, Adaptive Ordnance, this thing can do a scary amount of damage. This perk, when proc, gives it a 50 percent damage boost. Here's an example without it. Here's an example with it. Whew, that hurts. And one of the cooler parts is you can actually proc this perk by using your energy weapons and getting four rapid kills. And even though Exotic Rock Launcher is going to get their own little tweaks, I'm actually very curious to see how hard this thing's going to hit. If you vibe with these kind of videos, please leave a like. And hell, why not subscribe to the channel? It inspires me to make more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, and have a good one. Bye.